Joomla allows you to run polls uh, on your website. So in order to set up a poll, the last video we did was on the news feed manager. Now we'll go down to the polls in the components section here. Under components, go click on polls. Pretty straightforward. There's no categories or anything for polls. All we're going to do is we can set up a new poll. Go top right and hit new. And give our poll a title. And then fill in the obviously, uh, obviously the options. So nothing too complicated here. Pretty straightforward. Um, and when we're done with this, we can obviously give it an alias as well. Here's the lag second between the votes. Uh, these are uh, so just do the math and figure out how long that is. You can make it 24 hours, however you need. Uh, do you want the poll to be published? So if you want to take yes, you can publish that there. And then we'll go ahead and hit save it. So now we've got two polls that we've got. Polls are obviously displayed on our home page. And we'll go ahead and go back to the home page here real quick. Polls can be displayed on the home page using modules. So this is a module position, the polls module that's on, published on the right hand side of our page right now. So what we've got is we need to go back to extension to go down to module manager and we find our polls module we can actually create a new one we can say you know what give me a new module I want to show another poll and another module well here we go I can just tick the poll box there and hit next it's going to allow me to select the polls that I've got so I want to do this one here the module class suffix allows me to do individual styling for pages if you're or for the module, if you're using a rocket theme template, uh, the syntax those guys use is a highlight two or a highlight anywhere from a highlight one through a highlight eight, depending upon the template. So that'll change the uh, the, the styling of your specific uh, of the the module. The cache the caching we definitely want to use caching. We give our poll a title. Uh, do we show the title? We can choose not to. In this case, we uh, we can choose to or not to show it. In this case, we'll leave it alone. The, uh, the module is, in fact, enabled, so it's going to be published. And we're going to put it on the right-hand side of the page. And we're going to order it because there's multiple items in the right-hand side of our page. We've got polls, who's online. We've got advertisement here. We're going to go ahead and say, you know what, put this at the very bottom beneath advertisement. Uh, we'll leave it open to the public, and we can choose to even publish it on specific pages. If I said, look, let's, I only want it to show up on the home page, you could check that there. So the poll would only show up on the home page. So we'll go ahead and apply that and come back here to the home page and hit refresh. And now we're going to have another poll at the bottom of our page here. Here's our new poll. And so when you click Monday and you vote for it, and go ahead and click vote. It's going to take us to a results page. Thanks for voting. Here's the results. I can then choose to select another poll from the list, the individual, if the person wants to vote on another one. Here are the results for these different ones. So we go back to the home page, and I can also vote on this specific poll. So you notice I can run multiple polls on the same page and have one user vote in both polls. But now let's go back to the home page. And I'm going to try to vote in those polls again. So I'm going to go back to this one and say, you know what, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. And I'm going to vote again. And the system's going to say, oops, you already voted in this poll today. So it's not letting me register that. So the, the, the time that we set back on the poll doesn't allow me to re-vote until that time has elapsed. So pretty straightforward. Uh, the key is to remember that your polls will be available through the, uh, the drop-down uh, as well. People will be able to see the different results for them, and uh, it's pretty straightforward in organizing them. So hope that was helpful.